Greetings and welcome to the final week, the eighth week of the Minecraft competition, Suburbia Story. It already brings a tear to my eye that this is uh, this is the last week. But behind me, uh, these eight contestants have done some amazing, amazing builds, amazing challenges, and uh, it's been oh. awesome. Uh, just awesome camaraderie, awesome competition. Just look at the sky. We're, we're celebrating today with a balloon festival. And we're going to go ahead and start with uh, with looking at the builds this, uh, this week. So the challenge was for individuals or teams to build a hot air balloon out here at the makeshift airport. We'll just go down the list in terms of uh, showing them off. So I have box first. Sure. If you'd like to just show us what you got. My balloon is right over here. Um, it's made out of sturdy, sturdy concrete. So there's no <laughs> no uh, problem. It won't burst. We can pretty much guarantee that. I've got a, a, a seat up there. And I've also uh, got my horse attached. So I can bring him along with me when we take our journey. I'm sure that'll be considered animal cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> So that means Hawk Miner is next. All right. So, trust me, I'm a scientist. This works. So we got a, a nice iron basin here for you to sit in. Very secure, secured by uh, the best iron, right? And then, as you can see up there in this nice glass balloon, uh, we have a personalized climate. And in this environment, due to the increasing sea temperatures produced by the rising temperature of the sand from the sunlight, uh, it produces hot air above the water, which then shifts to the right over the sand, descends into the sand, which then cools the sand, cooling the water, allowing the cold air to seep back upward, pushing the hot air higher. How does that, how does that work if the environment is totally sealed? Uh, see, that's a good question. It doesn't. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a terrarium it generates its own atmosphere and i don't know he was saying something about a lot of hot air i'm not sure <laughs> uh Kamsai, you are next mm -hmm. uh, cool welcome to the ss gearhead this is my airship um so this airship is actually quite functional um how it works is it looks like a hot air balloon this is actually what creates the heat um, if I put some tinder in here, the motors turn on, as you can see, on both sides. And I can hear when the motors disengage. So when this starts running low on fuel and it stops burning, um, I will hear the motors disengage. So I know that I have to refill my fuel. Um, in here is my very comfortable cabin. And down below, I have storage as well as anything else I need to bring with me. Okay, right, ready? And fire in the hole. Ah, uh, yes, I hear. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, going around the plot clock is Kaylin next. Over the bridge for a video. But it's actually a string. <laughs> she's, she's being pulled along since I have engines. <laughs> There's Lily. Welcome to the uphouse and Lily trying to climb on board. We've got Whoa. Russell. We've got Russell. And inside, in the very first door. We've got Carl and Doug. <laughs> Feel free to have a look around. The house is completely built and fully furnished. <laughs> is it a back? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, you even got a little back space. Did you change your skin to get that head? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I got to have fun killing her. <laughs> she consented. So. Just taking a look upstairs. Did this pass the safety inspection this bridge? <laughs> well, no, probably not. <laughs> I mean, knock on wood, but I haven't. Nobody's died yet this week, so. Uh, <laughs> hey, Box. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was like, Box is volunteering. Uh, uh, so, water right there. I put water below. Yeah. We purposely did this so we can jump off repeatedly. <laughs> so, next, uh, I have CFG come to my balloon balloon. 
Now this is an autonomous um, swarm, swarm of balloons, sort of like a, a, a drone swarm that you can pre-program into shapes. Um, I just haven't charged their batteries, which is why they're not swarming around right now. Um, and, uh, and and you can do anything you want with them. So next is Kofolta. Actually, I think it should be Steto Fire next. I wrote these two names in different order. Okay. Uh, if you head to the east, you can see my glass balloon up in the sky. And there is a... Uh, is it the, the bluish one? Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm still light blue colored. I, as far as I know, I'm the only one that's actually stuck to my color in this build. What do you mean? Uh, purple in mine. My uh, concrete yeah. is blue. Uh, <laughs> my, mine is green. It's well, he's the only one. My house is blue. He's the only one that's stuck to his color. Is what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and the balloon is just very, or the basket is soft and cozy. Uh, this is designed for leisure flights because of its uh, showiness. And uh, up in the actual balloon opening, you can see there's a bunch of smoke that's keeping the, the air hot on the inside. And I also have a, a big emblem in the center uh, just for added showmanship. Very nice. Uh, Kavolta's next. All right. If you want to follow me down. I'm uh, getting some really cool footage of people falling and flying. And <laughs> <laughs> um, this is my uh, Balloonatronic 3000. Oh, yeah, uh, that's a boat. Since she doesn't have an elytra, it could be dangerous for her. So uh, if someone <laughs> wants to press the, uh, the button down there. Oh, um, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I fell into you. We're gonna go for a little ride here. Wow. That's incredible. Oh. Good riddance. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude, how do you get down? Yeah, how do you stop it? Well, that's why they need elytras. Well, I'm curious. I'm curious if the balloons will pop over 256 meters. <laughs> no, no. It, it'll just reach a stable height, and uh, we'll just float there until we get where we want to go. Yeah, Felina. Now, I I have... Or, sorry. Uh, did you want to say something else? Sorry. No, that's it. It's okay. Like, so, uh, I'm going to maybe regret this, but I'm going to put everybody in creative mode first. For a minute, uh... netherite blocks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Grab them. <laughs> so, the, uh, question for you, Felina: Did you pick like the colors of the stripes on purpose, or did you just use blocks that you had? Or I was um, curious. I was just digging at the bottom of my uh, barrel for different colors. Really. Okay, well, that's how I build most of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Because when I first logged into the world, like for whatever reason, I was like up around here and I saw the balloon from the top and I just really like something about the color palette. I really enjoyed. I tried to make the colors look okay next to each other. Yeah. I was trying to pick and choose, but yeah, it was. Yep. Oh. Now's your chance to get an Elytra without paying for it. <laughs> well, I, you guys are all in, uh, in. I think we broke the game. Yeah, yeah dude, just stop. No, no, you don't need to build and all that. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey. That was that was just so you could fly up and look. Uh, oh my. Uh, oh my god, it's a B attack. Oh. <laughs> um. this well. Just put... distance. Yeah, equal. Quick, just grab a bunch of empty maps. <laughs> fly over the town hall. <laughs> Uh, 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 I'll put y'all back in adventure mode. Oh, wait till we land. If, if you don't have an elytra, you better have yeah. one now. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I can fix it. I can make it safe. I can make it safe. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I was judging the hot air balloons based on two factors one is form and one is function. I do have to go with comp size balloon 
and the whoa, 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 whoa. hold on wait whoa 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 <laughs> stop stop wait what's Kaylin up Steve? didn't win this week Kaylin was supposed <laughs> to win <laughs> hold it <laughs> Hang something on, must be rigged here <laughs> Uh, okay, so also it looks like you guys have built some interesting rings. I thought these uh, drones flying carrying the rings was like just a fantastic idea. Like I, I saw that and I was like, wow, I didn't even think of that. They're a competing um, brand. So what do we have here in terms of uh, these rings? So over the Mysteryville airfield is the Elytra Club Flying Club training uh, course. Yeah. Uh, the start of the course is over but, here. And by the way, uh, I can sell if anybody needs them. Uh, I can sell you Elytra or and or fireworks. Should I tell you the prices or? 1,000 for 64 fireworks. Who's going to pay that? I can sell you fireworks for <laughs> less give, if you're I'll interested. You, yeah, I'll give you fireworks for, for less, too. Just uh, the disclosure, they explode. <laughs> Mine don't explode. <laughs> Aren't they supposed to explode? <laughs> I, I can fireworks, fireworks, if you don't put a stone on them, don't explode. <laughs> 200 okay, wealth so will get you. If you any, did anyone else need... Uh, no, I mean... Like, I, we were in oh. creative mode, right? I don't know if we need <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I should have stocked up on some more fireworks we, in creative. Do we need them for the thing we're doing? Mm, prop, yeah. I mean, you know, I, we'll I can give you an elytra for free, failing them. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> Is it? Oh. <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to be Sugarcane renamed as elytra. <laughs> <laughs> an actual elytra. 200 right a stack box. 200 a stack? Yeah. Uh, First of binding, sure. Anyway. I'll pick a stack. Oh. Oh. Do you need a jump from a balloon? Oh, I'll does it to have? Get back. <laughs> I will have to make does some it, more, though. Does it have curse fight so, yeah? Kaylin, uh, I can give you a stack no, here. Yeah, what I'm wearing has Oh, I'm totally gonna die. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> and a stack for Comsai as well. Yeah. And I'll give you the money. Do you, when do you need help dying? Down. Oh, no. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look, it's a head harvesting game. Oh, I don't think I I'm can... gonna need it. I don't need think it? I'm gonna need a help die. <laughs> I'm making oh, another oh, batch. No. Of... Oh, <laughs> Alright. No, I had the binding. Oh. Okay. Uh, are we good to s demonstrate this? I guess I can start off since I built it and I've already done it once. Uh, so we start here and. Go through these three. Around so to this around. one. So, so this here. requires fireworks. It does, yes. Okay. Around the up house. And then up to Steto's balloon. Then we get into the tricky bit where we bob in and out of these drone carried ones. This looks impossible. <laughs> I can confirm it is not impossible. <laughs> well, you've it's practiced been a really it like long time yesterday times. doing it. <laughs> oh my Up god. Here, wow. The section. And then once I level out through there oh, and then whoa. Yeah. Up uh, down uh, through yeah. there into the water. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. That looked practiced and very well. <laughs> I mean, very well executed. Do I just give uh, myself regular rockets? <laughs> yes. I've never actually done this. I don't know if they're in the creative oh. menu. You might have to just get... I can sell you some for 200 wealth, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, whoops. Oh, then this should be easy. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not. It's confidence. <laughs> oh. oh my lord! You want you want some boots too, maybe? All right. So while you're all flying around, having a little bit of fun, uh, any guesses? Since we're not doing an elytra course, any guesses as to what kind of challenge we're gonna do? 